It's uh, 635 right, right now, 911. It's so easy, even a kid can do it. And we have a story this morning about a little boy who was taught well and ended up being a hero to another little boy. I love this story. Captain, Major. <laughs> Fantastic story, isn't it? Yeah, it's, what am I supposed to call you? <laughs> I'm a captain and it's effective October 13th. So October 13th, Major Chad. All right, well, congratulations. <laughs> thank you and thank you for being there. It meant a lot, Russell. I was there, I was there, it was nice to see. All right, let's, let's get to this story. Two weeks ago, kindergartner gets off at a bus stop and there was a mix up with his family, right? Correct, his uncle was supposed to pick him up that day and his uncle went to the wrong bus stop. So here we have a five-year-old kindergartner, gets off the bus, doesn't know what to do, starts walking around. Here comes his guardian angel, Eric Soto, uh, a um, f fourth grader, a 10-year-old, sees that something's wrong and says, can I help you? Where, where are you supposed to be? And it, 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 the little Eric decide, realizes there's a problem here and he does the right thing. He calls 911. And, and again, just an amazing story. Here's a 10 year old that's been taught in school the importance of, of what a lifeline 911 is. So he picks up the phone and calls 911 and tells the dispatchers, uh, talking about there, there's some adults that don't talk as calm and are able to provide the pertinent information that this 10 year old did. Let's go, we got it. We got the call. You want to run it? Sure. Chad, you want to run it? Let's listen, let's listen to it right now. 911, what's emergency? Hello, um, I live in apartment of Hawaii, and there's this little kid that he's by himself and no, and his parents are not in his house. Okay, how old are you? I'm 10. Okay, and how old is the kid that's with you? How old are you? Five. He's five. And what exactly is he saying? That he, um, we went to, we, he was walking by himself in the bus stop, but his parents are not there. And then, um, we took him to, all the way to his house, but... His parents, um, we knocked in that door, but his parents are not there. Okay, listen, we have a deputy on the way to you, okay? I told him that you're going to be waiting in front of Okay? Yeah. Okay, so uh, just stay there with him if you can, okay? Okay, bye. All right, bye-bye. Chad, I love, love, love this story because you got to think about what could have what could have gone wrong here if, if Eric had not come upon this kid. I, 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 we all think the same thing. I think that's why we're so proud. And we got you know, a little affirmation that teaching kids, going into kindergarten and teaching them throughout elementary school about pedestrian safety, using your seatbelt, you know, wearing a helmet when you, when you ride your bike, and, and, and of course, 911. I mean, uh, we couldn't be more proud. All right, oh, first, all right, so you go into school and you talk to kids, but I, I wanna show this really fast because this is back to Eric and uh, he's our hero. And what, what did uh, Sheriff G and you guys do for him? Sheriff G made him an honorary deputy, and so we presented him with a plaque. So we go to his school at Woodbridge <laughs> Elementary, and we were, we were able to talk to the principal, and we were able to put it out on the morning show. So not only to reward Eric and show what the great work that he did, but I, I, I guess show the whole entire school body of, you know, this oh, is the look, right thing to look, do. Look, Chad, can you see him? Look at his face. Yeah, he, he was just overwhelmed with emotion. <laughs> Talk about something that was so, 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 just so moving. What's, what's that all wrapped up right there? This is a, a, a finality to a great story. So we, during the interaction, the deputy f finds out that his PlayStation's broke. Uh -huh. So we get with Walmart in town and country, and Walmart says, we can't have that. Uh -huh. They donated a PlayStation 3 for us to give to Eric. So talk about just a, just a great story and, and a great end to a good story. Hey, before we go, I, I, we, we brushed by it, and, and, but I do want to talk about the importance that, that your deputies go into all the schools, talk about 911, talk about safety, talk about things. I mean, that's something you all do as part, as part of your job, right? And we do. It's our Deputy Goodman program. It almost mimics the officer friendly, but it goes into more detail. You know, stranger danger, um, like I said, wearing helmets, using 911, the proper use. And, and we have to make sure the kids know, and parents, please help us out. It's not when they're mad because they have to take a bath or go to bed. It's not when their cat's missing, but it's, but it's for true emergencies. And, and you guys just saw a perfect example of when this all comes together, parents, school, and, and how, how well it works. Hey, Chad, we love it. Love it. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Have a great day, everyone. Captain Major. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.